It's disturbing. These women thought they were going to a trusted spa, but according to a BuzzFeed News investigation, 180 women say instead they were assaulted. And when they tried to complain, some say employees dismissed them, didn't follow through, or didn't appear to know how to handle a sexual assault camp complaint. This morning, three accusers share their stories. This turned so evil so fast. When he pulled my underwear down, I knew I was in trouble. He leaned over at the end and said our little secret. This morning, three women tell NBC News massage therapists at the billion dollar franchise Massage Envy assaulted them and that the spa turned a blind eye when they complained. According to BuzzFeed, more than 180 women have alleged sexual assaults. Among them, Susan Ingram, who says she had seen her massage therapist six times before without issue. But she says the seventh time was horribly different. I felt humiliated. I felt used. I felt broken. But because I had my daughter encouraging me, I made the call. A call to police. Ingram's massage therapist, James Dieter, pleading guilty last year to molesting nine women at a Pennsylvania massage envy. He's now in jail, serving more than five years. But in a lawsuit filed against the company, Ingram claims employees at Massage Envy Westchester unfathomably recommended Dieter to unknowing female customers after they knew he had already sexually assaulted at least one client at that location. In Virginia, Danielle Dick says Massage Envy ignored her after her 2015 assault. No one ever reached out to me to see how I was doing to ask if I was okay, to see if they could support me after their employee was convicted. So it was no longer just an alleged assault. Dick has also filed a lawsuit against the company, alleging its conduct was outrageous and intolerable in that it offends the generally accepted standards of decency and morality. In a statement, Massage Envy tells NBC News these incidents are heartbreaking, adding in part, with over 15 years and 125 million massages, even one incident is too many. That's why we will never stop reinforcing to our franchisees the importance of a safe environment. It's why we are constantly listening, learning, and looking at how we can do more, including how we support franchise locations with best practices in handling these incidents and supporting their clients. Massage Envy did not specify what those best practices are. Meantime, Susan Ingram tells us she expects her trial against Massage Envy to begin coming up in January, guys. Wow, that's pretty shocking. Kate, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.